The crisis in Ukraine is directly impacting people in Louisville. That includes a group that supports at-risk children and families in Ukraine. WDRB's Brian Martin continues our coverage tonight as all of this unfolds. Ukrainians are hearing these sounds all throughout the country. Reports say dozens have been killed since Russia pushed its way into the nation. Thousands are fleeing their villages in eastern Ukraine. It's heartbreaking, especially for me, because this is my motherland. I was born and raised in Ukraine. It's the place Natasha Reimer visits every year to help those in need. She's lived in the U.S. since the late 90s. Ukraine is dear to my heart, and especially since I've been working uh, with our partners on the ground in that region, that is even more heartbreaking for me to see the suffering with the people that we love. Her Louisville-based group, Mulberry International, promotes change by bringing hope and healing to at-risk children and families in Ukraine and beyond. I didn't believe that it would come to this. I really thought that at some point Russia would be contained and stopped, but it's just floodgates have been opened. While the Ukrainian military is struggling to respond to the war, Reimer's team is still on the ground helping as many Ukrainian families and children displaced by war as they can. They report to me just horrible things. Their house is being destroyed, uh, shelled, um, some of the buildings are on fire. They record and send me pictures of that. She feels for those who didn't evacuate. Her team sent her these pictures of a foster care home in eastern Ukraine. It's now been turned into a bunker. They put handmade cots and purchased unperishables, and all the staff, their families, and the children, about close to 60 people, are right now hunkering down in the basement of the children's home. Faith and fundraising is what Reimer says will help at this point. And where all these people will go? Who's going to help all these people? I mean, we're talking about million people that would be displaced and hurt and lost their dwellings and livelihoods. Um, somebody has to help them. In Louisville, Brian Martin, WDRB News.